everybody, welcome back to the Zim Video Journal. This is episode 28, back here in the closet studio. Thanks for joining again. Um, so, biggest news, the biggest news, the biggest news to report is that the podcast, Word on the Street podcast, is now on iTunes. So, check it out. It's on, um, let's see, ah, jeez, I don't know how to search, just search for Word on the Street. I guess uh, the picture of... Uh, Two Little Robots and W-O-T-S is a little picture there. Um, it's also on a, a blogger account, Word on the Street blogger. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what the URL for that is. I'll, I'll post the links, of course, in the description of this video. So anyways, it's on iTunes. I have a little primer version. We've decided to call it um, each episode is going to be not an episode. We're going to call them versions. It's just, I don't know, another way to distinguish our podcast from others but um eat like the first version we're calling it version 0.5 essentially it's just about it's like 10 minutes or 12 minutes of me and a-rock talking about the podcast and what we're going to do and just being goofy and the main thing i call it the primer because it was the main thing was just to get it up on on the blogger account and hooked in so that itunes would have something to look at and it i on last tuesday i think i posted it on um you know on the web and then um and then i requested itunes to 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 list it and it took them two days so last thursday they got back to me with an email and said it was approved and so it's pretty exciting i was pretty stoked on it last thursday i was telling everybody um that the podcast is live and now it's just a matter of getting people to commit to come and record them or i mean come to me or I can go to them I'm, like I said before I'm doing it on my laptop and it seems to be turned out fine I mean check out the primer and tell me what you think um, in terms of the audio quality because I think it's fine it it's it lives right around the same place as all the other podcasts I listen to in terms of how loud it is and just the quality of the audio and I think I mean the fact that I have kind of a deep voice helps too um, so that's that's what, what's going on there I got two podcasts recorded already but like i've said before i'm waiting till i have four down before i actually publish uh, my plan at this point is to publish one every two weeks and just hopefully that so basically you know having four podcasts that's two months worth of podcasts but i'm hoping and hoping that within two months time i'll have recorded a bunch more and you know the goal my goal is actually to to do one a week, you know, I want to get to one a week, but I want to make sure I have enough content to do that. Um, and so hopefully the ball rolling when people start hearing it and seeing it and, um, or hearing it, I guess just they'll want to be a part of it and it'll be a lot easier to get people to, um, to say yes and commit to a date and schedule and stick to it. Um, you know, I've had a couple of people cancel. I mean, they both seem to be into it and want to do it, but they don't, it's, you know, it's, it's an easy thing to cancel. It's not seen as something that is a, is, um, advantageous, I guess is a good word to use for their careers as musicians and, and the scene and stuff. And I'm hoping that a, the podcast will get to a point. That's one of my goals. As you know, I'm very goal or goal oriented. One of my goals for the podcast is definitely have it be something that matters, you know, have it be part of the conversation, you know, and the conversation is everything, you know, the conversation is just shows that get played, it's the music that's, you know, coming out, it's podcasts, it's, you know, all the blogs, I mean, the we have a ton of blogs, and that reminds me, I need to go after some of the people that write the blogs, I haven't, I haven't emailed any of them yet, but, um, but uh, just, there's just a lot of conversation happening i want word on the street to be part of that conversation and and i want bands to, and just people in the scene to want to be a part of it so that's my goal so we'll see how it goes of course we'll keep you posted on it um i started on uh let's see is that all that's all i gotta say but i guess about word on the street there's a facebook page up i'll post a link to that you know like it if you want but the most important thing is go to itunes and subscribe to the iTunes feed. Um, I think at the last time I checked on Friday, there's already 12 subscribers, which is pretty rad. Uh, so you know, just I just want to keep getting that number bumped up. Um, and you know, 
and, and let it and get it growing there. So so subscribe, go to the iTunes feed, subscribe to it. Um so we're on the street. Um uh, and uh yeah. And that's that. Um let's see, I'm trying to think and my brain's like oh, I just I was out I worked today's Saturday. Uh, this will be posted on Monday, every Monday. Um but today is Saturday and I worked all day hanging sheet rock and my body is sore tired i'm tired it's like 7 30 almost eight o'clock now but i'm ready i'm just i think i'm gonna call it in pretty early tonight <laughs> but uh um but that that reminds me of i was just, as i was saying that part of these i think i already mentioned but part of these um video journals will be a i've been thinking about it like uh um the a, a response to the podcast so every monday every oh i'm just i think i'm landing on a like a wednesday um every wednesday every other wednesday will be when the podcast comes out and then so the following monday this video journal will come out and then um i'll talk a little bit about what happened on the podcast like i've already the who i've already recorded you know i'm i'm i realize you know a i'm learning how to do it and b there's like ideas that come up that kind of I miss they like kind of shoot past me and they were like something that oh man if I I could have grabbed that and and we could have went deeper with those ideas but it's like I'm I'm trying to stay present and you know and I'm kind of there's a little bit of nervous energy that I'm dealing with trying to fall you know fall into the place of being the host and doing you know wanting to do a good job at it and that kind of thing and and letting the other person talk and you know there's a balance i don't know i'm still you know evolving what's going to happen so i'm really obviously excited about the whole process and learning about it and doing that thing so you know it'll it'll keep going so um that's enough with the podcast so check it out subscribe to it do that thing uh and then uh the zim and rock what's going on with the zim and rock right now uh just you know just tr- keep it on keep it on i last week i Blasted out a bunch of emails to local venues. I'm everywhere, all the way up and down Portland, um, Portland to Bellingham, all the way up and down the I-5 corridor within a uh, local-ish area that we can get to shows. You know, it's it, a couple hours to get to a show if we do that. Um, and I'm trying to get some momentum there. It's like I've noticed with when you book shows, when you get that thing going. In so far, like I'm, you know, I've I've done this for a while now, for like a few years, like I don't know, six, seven years with the the bands I've been in. I've been, you know, uh, the Booker guy, the the guy that goes and gets the shows, and I've noticed that it's when you have no shows, it's like it seems like it's really hard to get shows. But then once you get the shows, it's like they start to f- fall into place and start happening. So I'm in that beginning place of no shows. It's kind of you know really quiet. Um, right now and but hopefully over the next few weeks I'll start shows will start popping up so on that point if you are checking this out which um, if you're checking this out and you want to book us and you want us to be a part of something hit us up we're ready we want to do it so 2015 trying to do two shows a month trying to do like one show in Seattle every month month and a half you know a little bit longer but we sprinkled in there or like four sh- like maybe like once every two months a show in Seattle and then the other three shows will be sprinkled around Seattle like in other areas like Bellingham and Portland and I've you know noticed it's it's the same conversation happens in those places that happens up here it's like it all boils down to how many people you can draw so I'm trying to I'm just trying to ask everybody I can if they'll give us uh you know the olive branch kind of thing and and a goodwill and and get us in there so we can start making growing our audience and seeing what we can we can manifest in different scenes but right now as far as i know we i mean i have a little bit of family down in oregon and some friends but who knows if they would come out and i had same with up in bellingham and things like that so we'll see how it goes i you know it's like um and i'm not sure what a rock's got if he's got any friends or family that would definitely come out in those areas so um, we'll see, see what happens, but I just really want to not have to play Seattle all the time. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if I said before, but I, I don't think it's wise for a band to place one area too much. You know, it's like once every two weeks at most, but I think that's even too much. Cause you want to like, 
my philosophy on it is you want to make each show an event. And so I want to space them out enough that I can do that. And if, if they're coming every two weeks in the same area, it's like, it's like, it's hard to make each show an event. And my, you know, the music that I want to play, I don't want to be background music. I don't want to be a cover band. I don't want to be anything like that. I want to be the show. I want to be, I want to put on a show that people want to come see. So it's, it's, that's what it is. It's like, you don't want to play too often. You want to make it an event. So anyway, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so, so just trying to get the word out and, um, get some shows booked for 2015. I find that it takes about a, there's about a three month lead time that you need. So I'm right around there. Um, hopefully we got one show already booked for January, but hopefully we'll start getting more, um, shows and I'm just, I'm on the hustle as, um, I'm sure you know, but, um, so there it is. That's that's the Zim's Video Journal episode twenty eight. Hope I said that right at the beginning. But yes, yeah, episode twenty eight. And subscribe to the YouTube page. Go if you're watching this on Facebook or wherever you're watching this. Make sure you go to the YouTube page. Subscribe to this uh, video. Um, there'll be more um, stuff on there as well as you know Zim and A Rock live videos and other things like that. Um, and potentially there might be more of the podcasts. Um, we're on the street stuff that'll be filtered through this um, video channel. Oh, there's my hard drive going in the back. Um, and you know, so subscribe to this video channel, do that, help build this for me with me. Um, you know, comment on these videos, comment on anything you want. I want to, I want to have a conversation. I want you to be part of this as much as I don't, I'm not, I'm, as much as I want to be a part of this. You know, I want to talk. I like doing that thing. I like, I like inter, inter interacting with people. So, be sure to comment, and if you have any questions or anything like that, be sure to hit that up. If there's something that you know you want to hear about, like with the podcast, if there's a local musician or something in the local scene that you think I should be looking at, hit me up. Let me know. I'll, I'll go. I'll reach out to them. Or, or if you're in the scene and you want to be a part of it, hit me up, and we'll talk about it and see see if it's a fit. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, like you subscribe to this video on YouTube, and then make sure you go to the to the description of this video because there's going to be links to the iTunes feed and then there's a link to the iTunes page is of all the stuff I'm involved with so click those like them do that help grow this thing and thanks a lot for watching on the Zen this is Zim's video journal episode 28 peace